I was shooting this video and I thought it was going to be just one part but after talking the first part it was almost getting to 20 something minutes and I'm like no 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 no. I don't want to bore you people it's not like I'm giving you poor hodges I'm talking about standards of living rising cost of living in Cameroon and some people might easily click out and they'll not get all the information so I just decided to divide the video into two so if you're coming here and you have not watched the part one I'll tell you to go and watch part one because I have touched on heavier things heavier things like housing feeding transportation and stuff like that so you want to go watch that video before coming here to part two so if you like to see, get more information on the rising cost of living in cameroon duala as case study just keep watching <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna and I am a Cameroonian YouTuber talking to you about Cameroon. On this channel, we do everything Cameroon. So you want to consider clicking on that subscribe button if you want to learn more about my country Cameroon. If you have any questions, any questions at all, just go to my playlist, everything Cameroon. And I think you're going to find what you're looking for there. If you do not find it, you can always drop a question under my videos, like in my comment section, and I'll try to make a video about what you want to know. That said, um, let's go straight into the video because I don't want this to be as long as the other one so like i said i'm talking about the rise of cost of living in cameroon douala as case study and the next point i'm going to talk about here is water for me i'll tell you that water is one of those things that people don't really complain about to be honest i mean like the water bill because water bills generally from people i see water bills are really not high i cannot talk from my own experience paying water now for like the past 10 years because where my husband works he doesn't pay water or light but i'll talk from experiences people have seen and all that generally when i was single and i had my own home the highest water bill i paid was 1200 i was using water to wash my clothes do things and all that but my bill would just be 1200 600 some months 800 some months so generally water is not that thing that people complain a lot about except you're living in that house where your landlord is trying to scam you people he's the one who gives you your water bills and all that but generally water water is not one of those things that people complain about when it comes to paying how However, water is, <laughs> it's, how do I put this? It is difficult with the quality of water because in certain neighborhoods here you open your tap it's just brown water coming out like it's simply like your water that they are they have put sand in the water so it's brown water coming out the water is not clean it's not drinkable so at the end of the day a lot of people tend to have to buy water a lot okay people have to buy water a lot especially for drinking you have to buy water for drinking there are some people who buy water to even bathe and things like that because the quality of water in their homes is not the best these days a lot of people are using boreholes and forage is forage borehole people are using boreholes and water tanks to just for their houses because you really cannot use that water you really cannot use the water that the water company provides okay luckily in my house the water is is uh, i drink it is but i'll not advise anybody to drink it it's not that bad i use it to cook i use it to bathe i use it to do everything right i use it to do everything but my family my kids and my husband do not drink it they'll drink this bottled water right and before a bottle of water like that used to cost 900 1000 but with the increase in price a bottle of water is now going to 1000 1300 1400 <laughs> i know very soon it'll be 1500 for 10 liters for 10 liters of water right so see like my family of five how many bottles how many of those bottles can we use in a month we we'll use like six or seven of those bottles so at the end of the day we use like seven thousand for water so if you want to look at your living in duala with my kind of family you have to pay your water bill your water bill will be approximately between five to ten thousand before that water you're drinking so at the end of the day you spend like let's just say you're between 17 to 25 thousand just for water per month right another thing that people will complain and cry about in cameroon is electricity paying for electricity is not beans it's not easy electricity huh i just sit and i tell my husband like hey uh, Mr. Eno, please, um, anything that is happening, you're not leaving that company where you're working, you're staying there because <laughs> when you're used to what I'm used to when it comes to electricity, guys, you, you, you cannot understand. See, I have my AC in the kitchen room, in my room, in the parlor. I'm trying to put in the kitchen. <laughs> i'm using all the electrical appliances that people would generally say oh it, it is going to be your, your your electricity bills are going to be high and things like that i'm using everything i'm feeling funky and free because we don't pay we have a particular amount of units that they give us per month and guys i can tell you for sure that we don't even finish the amount the units per month they give us after every six months right a particular amount of units and 
I don't know how the electricity system works, but it's what they give us. We can use and use and use and it never gets finished. But one time it got finished because I think I grew crazy at that time. <laughs> but it can never get finished. It, it barely, it, it, like it can't get finished. So I really don't have any problem when it comes to electricity. If you come to my house, the AC is on morning to night. If I'm going to this room, I put on the AC. I go to that room, I put on the AC. So I'm very comfortable when it comes to electricity because I don't pay. But the average Cameroonian, you cannot stay like that where your AC is always on. AC in particular, will in, like AC talks electricity. So if, you're, if you have an AC, you have to be managing it. I have a lot of people who manage between the AC and the fan because the AC would take a lot of electricity. Something as well that I know that people complain, people seem to feel would take a lot of electricity, which really doesn't, is the washing machine. I've spoken to a couple of my friends who have washing machines in their homes, and they told me that their bills, when they started using the washing machine, their bills just added to like 5,000 francs. So I feel like the washing machine part is something, and I'm talking about people that have families like myself, like they have three kids, husband, and yeah, which means they'll have approximately the same amount of dirty clothes as I have in my house and all that. You notice that their bills just added if they were paying 30,000 for their electricity bill when they had a washing machine they started paying like extra five or seven thousand right so i don't think that the washing machine is that it 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 takes a lot of electricity like that for me one thing i know for sure is the ac people who have ACs, they'll tell you that that day i just put on the ac all night my bill came i cannot understand so for the average cameroonian with a family of five like mine you pay your your electricity bill if you have like the washing machines and acs and all that that your electricity bill is going to range something between 60 to 100k 60 to 100k depending on how you use the things how often you use the things how you use them and all that but for somebody who really does not have all these things your electricity bill will come like between 35 and 50 thousand it, it also depends like in my father's house in boya they we used to pay like 35 thousand 40 thousand for electricity was it up to 40? No, it was like 25,000, 35,000 per month. We do not have any ACs or washing machines or all that. So yeah, that is it when it comes to electricity, which I feel like I have overspoken about it. Okay, the next point here is waste management. Waste management. Waste management is just basically having to get rid of dirt and all that. And I spent 2,000, is it? No, 3,000 for waste management every month okay there are some people who would rather pile and pile and pile the dirt and then they they get rid of it when they ever they see his account coming or whenever they have time to do that but for me i do i pay somebody three thousand per month to just come and get rid of my waste because i'm sorry his account in cameroon that is the company that carries dirt they are very ineffective they'll pass once in a blue moon so i pay somebody who comes every month every week two times every week and and just carries all the dirt and gets rid of it for me so that is something that people are doing and waste management to his business too is being affected with the increase of um, prices and all that because generally when he just started we used to pay him two thousand but considering the rise of prices of well and all that because he comes with the tricycle that he puts the dirt in he walks around carries the dirt and then he goes with the rise of prices of well and all that he too had to add the amount so it, we left from paying two thousand per month to three thousand and another thing that you can do with the waste management guy is just to ease for you to just forget about that company we used to just count his money for like six months and pay him and then we so we pay him twice a year so yeah that's how it is when it comes to waste management and the good thing about the waste management is that this guy he comes with his trash bags good quality ones i always used to buy trash bags from the supermarkets but sometimes the quality is not that good so he comes with those the strong solid ones that when you put your things inside it doesn't fall off so i just put all my trash in it i wrap it i put it at one corner of my gate and then when he comes he comes and takes it every two Tuesday and Wednesday so yeah that is it for waste management there are such, such people who don't need to pay anybody some people put it at the back of their car and go and dump it somewhere we used to do that before guys we used to do that but see the smell that will come out from your car sometimes <laughs> you're just like no um this doesn't make sense yeah okay something that i didn't mention when it comes to water is which is kind of linked to water is laundry and i was talking about washing machine and things like that there are also some people who 
don't wash their things on their own okay there are people who pay people to wash there are people who go to the dry cleaners right so how much are people spending on that see guys prices <laughs> even the dry cleaners before you go to dry cleaners they'll tell you oh a shirt is 1000 or 800 but now you go to certain dry cleaners they'll tell you a shirt is 15 because the water is expensive and the electricity is getting more expensive and all that so that's another thing where that's another Place where people will spend money but for me i really cannot relate with that because of the washing machine and then also the person that does child care also washes from people i've spoken to you see that when it comes to laundry if you have somebody who comes people have like people who come like twice a week or once a week to wash one day to wash one day to iron and they pay people between 10 to 15,000 it would depend on the number of people in your house like my single friend used to pay the person that washes her clothes and all that 15,000 she comes washes her clothes every week and then comes and irons it as well while in the person the person that has a family like mine they'll pay the person 25,000 or so and then the next thing is cable tv um the two common ones we have here is canal sat and dstv okay dstv is mostly english english speaking canal sat is french speaking canal sat is way cheaper because canal sat five with five thousand francs you get good images you pay 5k every month you have your channels you have your variety of channels to watch but dstv is still not a huge thing in cameroon a lot of us have to pay in nigeria paying for dstv is not being paying for dstv is not cheap dstv there are different options right there are different options but we have the cheapest option for dstv is nine thousand per month this is without installation where you want to install it it's a whole seventy five thousand, right and then you pay for one month so there are options from nine thousand we have the nine thousand option we have the i think thirteen or fifteen thousand option we have the eighteen thousand option we have the twenty two thousand option i went for the twenty two thousand option which to be honest with you at this point i don't know what i'm doing with that option <laughs> i don't know what i'm doing with that option i just have specific channels i watch I have over a hundred channels right we have over 10 football channels over 15 cartoon channels music channels and all that but i have particular channels i watch i watch like tlc i watch africa magic showcase which i have i have barely watched tv all this time because my kids quarrel and fight so much with the tv that i just abandon it but yeah so we have those options you already have an idea of what you want but to be very honest with you that option for nine thousand, you will not have the interesting channel when you start paying from fifteen thousand, that's when you start having interesting channels like big brother season is almost here to have big brother you have to have at least the fifteen thousand option where you have the 24 hours channel and all that but even at that we still have people who pay for cable which after using dstv and the quality the way my tv is always sparkling bright when i go to houses that have cable now i'm like how are you surviving <laughs> how are you surviving guys the quality is really really bad and another disadvantage of for us who are using the dstv is that we don't have cameroonian channels i barely used to watch cameroonian channels before so for me i really it really doesn't matter to me but yeah that is it that is it when it comes to um cable tv so you either go for cable and even the cable tv cable tv people used to pay before 2000 now people are paying 3000 35 for cable so it depends on who you are where you find yourself and all that and these days it's almost like if you don't have cable you cannot have the normal tv channels correct me if i'm wrong because majority of the places where i go when there's no cable tv you cannot really watch like the cr tvs and the equinox and all the other cameroonian channels and then last but not least this is something that takes a lot of our money and sometimes we tend to neglect a lot is just entertainment we spend a lot on entertainment especially if you're just trying not to just sit at home and you're not doing anything even if you're sitting at home you still want to entertain yourself when i say entertainment i'm just talking about things that you really don't need but you're buying like oh i'm going to drink i'm going out with the kids to have pizza or i'm going to watch movies or i'm going for an activity basically we always have so many different things that we're doing for entertainment and all that and that is a whole lot because you spend a whole lot more because as i said as prices are increasing in everything like the places that you used to go to the entrances are increasing like the prices are increasing what most people do is either they reduce their time like okay a playground that you used to go and you used to pay like two thousand either they increase their prices to two five 
and maintain the amount of time you get to play there or they are going to reduce that time like if you pay two thousand and you stay there for one hour they will now reduce that time so that you don't feel like you're paying more but you're spending less time there am i making sense like okay i used to pay two thousand and we play for one hour now because prices have increased and things are more expensive they now reduce the time from one hour to 45 minutes so instead of paying two thousand and playing for one hour you pay two thousand and pay for 45 minutes so that's what they're doing now either they reduce the portions of food they used to give so that customers do not complain or they add the prices so yes guys that is basically it when it comes to cost of living in cameroon by the day things are getting worse and huh, i don't know i don't know uh, how, how like how is it for you where you are where you are how are the rising cost of living how is it affecting affecting life wherever you are uh, is are things just okay how are things going let's talk more about this in the comment section thank you guys so much for watching today's video and i am going to see you on my next one okay love you guys bye Mwah.